I don't remember much of the second day in Thailand, but I do remember being on the boat wearing a, a rice hat. We're on the, uh, on the river in Bangkok. And I remember thinking, God damn, this place is dirty. I mean, the water was muddy. You couldn't see through it. It was, it was a very dirty place. And, you know, it was a little part of me that couldn't wait to get out. It was a very dirty city, Bangkok. I remember Daniel playing a board game with uh, these, these old local Thai men. They were playing a game with dice, and I thought it would be funny to join them as they were. They were playing a game without the shirts. That's it, that's it. Let's go, let's do this. Let's go, man. I, mean, I was in that, uh, that I'm gonna be the comedian. Wear skins, their shirts. No, man, I'm talking about that. Yeah, skins. I have no idea what's going on, but this guy is in a role. You know, honestly, I was in it for me. I was in it for me to fulfill this dream I had. One, tra traveling the world. Two, entertaining people. And so this was a perfect combination of those two things. Of course, down the road, I imagine that if this was a success, that obviously my family would benefit financially from it, if in fact it ever was a success. I remember going to the red light district, which was a city unto itself. I mean, this red light district was, it was massive. We walked it for an hour, maybe. It was flashing, hot pink, neon lights. I read the Super Pussy. And <laughs> I said, you know what? There's no way we're coming all the way to the other side of the world and, we're, and, and, and discovering a place called the Super Pussy and not walking in it. Like, there's no way we're going, we're going, we're going to the Super Pussy. This is the most vivid memory I have. I don't want to exaggerate, but probably 50, 60 girls, very young. And yeah, they started pulling and tugging on my shirt and I started to feel uncomfortable. I started to feel nervous. I started to feel like, man, they, they really, these girls are desperate for money. This is kind of sad, actually. Yeah, so I, I walked out. I knew that I was just hours away from starting that dream I imagined. I had real doubts. I was nervous. My stomach was hurting. I thought about calling my ex-girlfriend and getting my old life back. I had legit fears, real doubt. Even on the trip, it was something that I was constantly thinking about. But at the same time, I can't back down from this. I need to move forward. I was out to live a dream, to do something different, to, to get out of my comfort zone. I knew that if I reneged on, on the dream, on the challenge, on the adventure, I, I could never live with myself.